Hi, and welcome to sunny Orlando. And what I do here in Orlando is something I want to share with you guys. It's actually something made of frozen strawberries. I make it myself. I cut them up into small bits and pieces and I put a little milk. Then you put a little Splenda and it's going to taste great. So I don't know how to cook at all. Maybe just popcorn, fried egg. <laughs> but I love doing this. I mashed up the strawberries. You see how the milk has basically disappeared because it's now all soaked in to the strawberry. You get some more milk, but in the beginning, you know, if this is the strawberry, half of it is still above the milk. If not, if the strawberry is really hard and really frozen and you try cutting into it, it's going to bounce around and the milk is going to go and you don't want that. This doesn't bring up my sugar too much, but I usually stick to about seven or eight strawberries. Now, it's easy to put this into a shaker. I meant blender, but you miss out on the on the process of doing it, which kind of makes it more endearing. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, right now I'm in the beach and there's some miraculous thing happening. Look, she's actually cooking. She's cooking. Oh my God. Oh my God. But every family has what they call the one-in-law. The mother-in-law. I came to see what's been done wrong. Okay. But so far, I can't find anything wrong. Oh. Congrats! Congrats! <laughs> just for your information, it's not just my birthday, it's also my anniversary. But there's no better way to spend it than with your mother. Anniversary will, will be ruined by the mother-in-law, but I'll try my best. No, no, no. We'll try, <laughs> we'll, let's change the word from ruin to enhanced. Enhanced. It will be enhanced. Whatever you say. Okay. Now I'm going to do some prayer by the beach. Oh. Goodbye, Mom. Good boy. Someday in the Philippines, I'm going to be blessed with an ability to stay in a place like this. People ask me, why am I such a beach person? I mean, come on. You don't see the life underneath, but the water itself is alive. And uh, that creature over there, that one far there, that's my brother-in-law, Ramon. I'm in Flagler Beach in Florida. I love the beach. Those are my sisters. That's Lisa, that's Diane. You can guess who the older one is. I won't mention who. That's the common reaction I get. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and we are right now in Flagler Beach. Oh, really? I'm truly a, an admirer of uh, people who are so young and yet so vibrant and so passionate about cleaning the beach. Well, would you look at that, Pia? I, I think there are tears in my eyes right now. And he believes he can do the whole thing. He has at least five cubic feet of sand per hit. Oh no, that's way more. That's Olympic status right here. Should we interview him, sir? How much training have you had? He was speechless. Yes, okay. yes. And I was speechless too. I was. I, I mean, I, this, this is a bit too much for me. We'll be back with more of the news from Flagler Beach right here. Okay, Phil? <laughs> Flagler Beach in Florida. What? And then what? Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. Yeah. That you cannot put in your mouth, okay? Yeah. No, don't put it in your mouth. That's very dirty. Don't want that in your mouth, okay? What? Okay? Because if you put that in your mouth and it's so dirty, you might get sick. You might get 